Peterborough Cathedral, also known as St. Peter's Cathedral, was founded as a monastic community in 654 AD, in the Anglo-Saxon period. At that time the site was called Mediswell, later Medahamstead. The original monastery may have been built of timber, but seems to have been later replaced in stone. There is a couple interesting facts about the stone itself. The source of stone is located near Peterborough, in the village Barnack. The stone was taken in Barnack from even the Roman period. The former quarry is called now Hills and Holes, and this is a site of special scientific interest, and one of Britain's most important wildlife sites. Many significant objects, such as churches, cathedrals, abbeys, and even the oldest Cambridge University colleges, were built of Barnack stone. In 870 the cathedral was supposedly destroyed by Vikings. How can we know it? Well, there is an ancient stone carving in the alcove of the new building, the head of stone illustrating 12 monks. This medieval carving commemorates the destruction of the monastery and the death of abbot and monks, when the area was sacked by the Vikings in 864. The head of stone was likely carved sometime after the raid, when the monastery slipped into decline. In the mid-10th century monastic revival, a Benedictine abbey was created in Peterborough. After the Norman conquest in 1066, the area around the cathedral and the cathedral building itself largely changed their shapes. The Romanesque style windows and arches were rebuilt into a Gothic style. The ceiling, completed between 1230 and 1250, still survives. It is unique in Britain, and one of only four such ceilings in the whole of Europe. In 1539 the Great Abbey of Peterborough was closed, and its lands and properties confiscated by the King Henry VIII. To increase his control over the church in this area, Henry VIII created a new bishop and Peterborough Abbey Church became a cathedral in 1541. Peterborough Cathedral is associated with several historical figures, the most famous of them is undoubtedly Catherine of Aragon, first of Henry VIII's six wives. She had been buried in Peterborough Cathedral in 1536. Her grave can still be seen, and is still honored by visitors who decorate it with flowers and pomegranates. Another famous character is Mary. In 1587, the body of Mary, Queen of Scots was initially buried here, after her execution at nearby Fotheringa Castle, but it was later removed to Westminster Abbey on the orders of her son, King James I of England. Finally, and really interesting figure, is Robert Scarlett, known locally as Old Scarlett. He was Peterborough's famous 16th century grave digger. Old Scarlett was born in 1496 and died on in 1594 at the unbelievable age of 98, his life spanning the reigns of Henry VII, Henry VIII, Edward VI, Mary I and Elizabeth I. He has buried two queens, Catherine of Aragon and Mary Queen of Scots, scores of clergy and at least two generations of local people in and around Peterborough, often twice, once when they died and later, to move bones or make space. When Old Scarlet died, the townsfolk took him to their hearts and insisted he be buried in the cathedral, where he now lies immediately below his fresco. Our visit to Peterborough Cathedral is over for now. We highly recommend visiting this gorgeous building, and take a guided tour to hidden sites of the cathedral. Thank you for watching.